I am going to talk to you through our road trip algebra project. Read the instructions carefully. The first thing you want to note is that you have a budget that you need to stick within. Your budget is going to be between $10,000 and $9,500. The second thing is your trip needs to be between one week long and 31 days long. So lastly, you can take up to seven people in addition to yourself on the trips you can have one just yourself or one you plus seven other people so up to eight people so that's the first thing you need to decide for this trip so you're going to start by filling out the names of the people who will be coming up to eight people the next thing you need to do is to decide on the the accommodations and whatnot so for example, if I am taking myself and four people, so this is a four person trip, and I'm doing high quality food and luxury lodging and designer baggage. So that means I'm spending $200 per day per person because I have four people, I'm gonna have 200 times four equals 800. The luxury suite will be 500 per day for up to eight people. I have four people, so it's just $500 per day. Lastly, if I'm using the designer luggage, I've got $300 per person. I've got four people. So 300 times four is 1200. So I'm gonna take the 800, 500 and 1200 and write that in on the blanks down below. So what type of food? We said that we were going to do the 200 per day. So our food is going to be 400 per day. Lodging is 500 per day. And you can give any reason you want. So given the number of people that are going on the trip, what is the total amount you will spend on food and lodging each day? Well, I'm going to take 400 plus 500. And, the, and add that together, and I'm going to have 900 per day. Given the number of people going on the trip, what's the total amount you're gonna spend on luggage for everyone? Well, I said I have four people times the high quality luggage. So that's going to be $1,200. So now that we have that, we're gonna scroll down to this last piece where we have to write an equation. And so the equation is where we're going to talk about slope. So slope is where you have a change and so we're using this equation y equals mx plus b m is our slope slope means it's something over time so for example our luggage in lodging is something that increases if you only go on a one-day trip you'd only pay 900 dollars. if you go on a two-day trip you'd pay 1,800. If you go on a three-day trip, you'd pay 2,700 just for food and lodging. So our slope for this equation is 900. And then you know that your number is a slope if it's being multiplied by x when it's in this y equals mx plus b. b is our y-intercept, and the y-intercept is our starting point. So that's the amount of money that you're spending on day one of the trip. So day one of the trip, before we go anywhere, we spent 1,200 on luggage. So this is our equation. You want to keep track of it because we're going to be using it more. I'm going to stop the video here and then I'll start with a new one.